Dario here reporting for the West Island blog. The city of Point Claire has been beekeeping on the roof of their library since 2017. We caught up with Mayor John Belvedere and a main beekeeper here at the city to learn more. So as part of our uh, sustainable development program, as part of uh, biodiversity, uh, you need bees to pollinate things. So Point Claire has made it a priority to have the hives in order to, and not only have hives, but also to have the gardens and the flowers needed to help the bees to survive and produce, uh, to be able to pollinate uh, everything that has to be pollinated. Ville de Point Claire, per hive, you have two hives, and I would say 50 to 70,000 bees. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. So do the hives stay out on the roof all the all year, year round 365 okay. days a year they made it through winter quite strong and i was very very pleased about that because winter is a challenge i mean for every being even humans it's tough what we do is we wrap them a little bit it's right around christmas time so it's almost like wrapping them in a beautiful gift so we wrap them together in like thermofoil so we give them a little bit more of a warmer chance to survive we give them a bunch of food as well in the fall and that way we can we can only pray that they the colony is strong enough and big enough and they're smart enough with the resources that they have to make it through through winter how they do this is they actually cluster all together so they get into a really really tight uh, ball and they'll bat their wings and they'll be able to keep the temperature in the hive at around like 20 degrees okay, wow. no matter how cold it gets they just yeah. like they eat that and then and then they eat the resources like different types of bees that are just very very small as well so this is like prime source of food oh yeah there's one hello fee so um bees only ever sting when they feel threatened so it's it could be that I'm working too fast or um, I'm not grounded enough in, into my, my person, my being, so I get nervous. And I work day in, day out in the bees. So when I do work a uh, not bee friendly way, they correct me, so they sting me. Where for, for regular humans that just like get in contact once in a while with bees, the chances of getting stung are really, really low. So they only are there to correct you. And it's very similar to humans working on a computer where the computer corrects them and it's like a typo. But my typo is a sting. Uh, beehives work the same way on the rooftop than they would on the ground. They're really adaptable beings. And it's really, Especially here in Pointe Claire, the, the roof is not too high and there's a bunch of vegetation and uh, bee friendly flowers everywhere and it makes my job really, really easy and beautiful when I'm seeing a hive that's actually thriving. I think that everybody who can uh, should. Uh, I was downtown yesterday at a uh, brasserie on, uh, on along the bike path and they had the uh, beehives on top of their uh, facility. So you know what, everything that we can all do to help out uh, saving the environment, helping the biodiversity, and it, yeah, I think everybody should get on the same page, absolutely. This was Dario De Felice reporting to you from the West Island Block.